Welcome to Chase Talks. My name is Chase. Today we're going to be playing Sword the Court. If you don't know what this is, this is a game where you be the king. And we're going to click new games and I'm going to be a king. Because we are the Chase Talks Kingdom. We are building it. My lord. My lord, I help you rule your kingdom. But you may, you have to make the choices. Just say yes or no. Understand? Yeah, I get it. I gotta click either Y or N to say whether or not I'm going to make it. So our city is still very small right now, but it certainly has the potential to grow. Perhaps one day we will have a bustling metropolis and you'll be invited to join the Council of Crowns. For now, all you need to concern yourself with is keeping the citizens happy and growing your population. Do your best, sir. All right. Drummer. Bum ba dum ba dum bum 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 bum. Yeah, you like my rhythm, bruh? Yeah, I me mean, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, bruh, 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 bruh. I'm in the groove. You guys, you got some happy hat. Progress saved. Chester, I'm hungry. Can I eat some folks? I've got plenty of gold. So I can pay you back for their lives. I don't think I want to feed my civilians to a mimic. I'm sorry. Mm -mm, not into that. Ah, uh, fine. I'll leave them all. Well, at least he's a nice enough mimic to when I tell him no. He's like, no, okay. Winston. Hey, uh, you think you could tell people stop calling me slime balls? Hurt my feelings. Yeah, I can tell you that. Oh, look how happy everyone is. Thanks, boos. Holy shit. What the fuck? All seeing eye. It's just staring at me. Does it want something? Uh, yes. It took a little hundred gold! What just happened? I feel lucky. Of course you feel lucky. That little, little, little eye on the ground just fucking walked up and ganked me out of a hundred gold. Jeez. I got two people. Well, at least I got two new peoples. A monkey peanut. Ook, ook, ook. He's got a shiny coin. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I guess that's what he's saying. Ook, 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 ook. This monkey gave me five coins. Military general, we've captured some folks in the battlefield. Shall we bring them home and put them to work? I don't. Uh, is, it, is he asking me if I want to make them slaves? I don't. I don't think that's a good idea. I understand. However, we need to do something with them. Shall we ransom the captured foes off for a bit of gold? Uh, yes. Oh, hey, I got my hundred gold back. Very well. Better to have the gold than hostile captives. I agree. I don't want a revolution. Look at how small my town is in the background. We can't afford a revolution. I would like to build a new granary. This could help expand our population, but it'll cost you a bit. Yeah, I need. I want more people. Okay, that's 70 gold. That's not that bad. That's less than the little murder eye took from me. You got this. This will help our city grow. Yeehaw! I don't know why I started making him like a western cowboy. Oh no! 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 I don't want you to eat my people. Get out! Get out of here! At least I get a happiness every time he comes. Hey! Plants are interesting. Do, don't you think? I would like to open a garden. May I have some workers to help me? I'm getting a poison ivy vibe here, but you know, yeah, why not? You haven't murdered anyone yet? Thank you. I'll send them back as soon as they're done. Citizens are upset about whether or not ransoming our prisoners was the right choice. There's been some unrest about this. What? What would they rather have me do? Jeez, whatever. What would they rather have me do? Where are you? Georgie? You interested in making a deal, bud? Your people souls in exchange for your my gold. How about it? I don't think that's a good choice. Uh, I'll get you next time, buddy. Buddy, old pal, man. I bet you didn't know that I'm a fiddle player too. 
A petition to bring the circus to town is circulating. Could attract tourists. Are you interested? Yeah, sure. Why not? I got 100 gold from that. Let the people have the circus then. I liked it better if my character said that than her. Hey, our friend. Boom, 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 boom. I'm really getting into it. Are you? Yeah. That's what I thought. Ba -da 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 -do Boosh. So into it. Tomer seems like a nice guy. Is that a little vampire? Lil Fang. <laughs> Lil Fang. He's a rapping vampire. Um, no relation to Lil Wang. <laughs> Hello, friend. Care to gaze into my magical vampire crystal? Sure. Mm -hmm. But not. He took my people and my happiness? He's a jerk. He's a jerk. One of our prisoners escaped. May I have some gold to offer a reward for her recapture? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Someone's bound to find her soon with a sweet reward. That seems like a lot of reward for one escaped prisoner. The circus is in town. Hey, we got two happy and ten gold. Circus in town. Bring joy to all who visit it. It also happens to bring in a nice bit of gold. We lost five people today, but we got plus happy. And we got more wealth. So people left. We lost people, but the people that stayed are happier than when those people were here. I'd say it's a good change. The petition's going around to open our borders to the neighboring town. What do you say? Uh, yeah, sure. That's got to bring in more trade and more population, right? Oh, 50 gold, 30 people, and 10 happy. That's good. Together, our towns will grow even stronger. I bet. No! Mm -mm. Stop trying to eat my people! Oh wait, did he not ask to eat? A nearby town has asked us fro to form an alliance with them. Should we let them in the ranks? Sure, why not? Hey, we got 15 extra people. Sounds good to me. More swords for us. Yes, the more swords the better. I would like some money, please. He looks really angry. But what if he's deceptively nice? Mm. I'm gonna hope that he's a deceptively nice guy. He took a hundred gold! So this is good money. He seemed like he was a little bit deceptively nice, but dang, he took a lot of money. I'm the Duke of Spook. Do you want a spooky nickname? Yeah, I want a spooky nickname. Hmm, you can be the Creep King. Awesome. The circus and down is bringing joy to all who visits. It also is bringing in a nice bit of gold. We got an extra 10 gold from that. That helps make up for the 100 freaking gold that guy took from me. Jeez. Some villagers are threatening to leave unless we pay them a sum of gold. Should we listen to the demands? Let them leave. I see. We'll let them go then. Off with them! Hey, she's back! We've completed the work of the garden! Are you pleased? Yes! Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm so glad! We got five happy and we got our citizens back. She didn't murder them. She was not poison ivy. If she was poison ivy, she's a nice guy. The Sultan. I got a business proposition. Are you and your little, tiny little town, are you interested? Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? I'll bring you the details soon. My guy looks like he's asleep in his chair, like at all times. Good day, sir. And do you require any haunting services for a small price or scare some people for you? Hmm. No, I don't think I want you to haunt anyone. Very well, very well. I don't I think like haunting my civilians would be a good idea. My liege, there's a man in a foyer asking to join the guard. He's got an eye patch and looks a little shifty. What do you think? Should we take a chance on this stranger? Uh, why not? Mm -hmm. Indeed, more swords will help us. I mean, I haven't seen any reason to think that the guards are not guides, and our general has an eye patch, and he's not shifty. So an eye patch doesn't just mean they're instantly shifty. The circus has. Packed up and left town, and we're without 
and not without leaving behind even more gold coins. Ooh, that's good. I lost two people today, gained five happiness, and gained 20 wealth. Our town is growing. Hey, look at night. My lord, I will embark upon a treacherous quest. Mm -hmm. Go for it. For the kingdom, I shall return to you, my lord. Some villagers are threatening to leave unless we pay them some gold. Should we listen to their demands? No. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. You got it right, king. Uh-uh. <laughs> I see. Well, let them go then. Of course we'll let them go. I will not pay civilians to live in my town. Hmm. You call this a castle? I do actually call it a castle. Indeed it is. True question. Hey, chicken. Bok bok. It's running wild. Should we try and capture it? Yeah. Buck mm -hmm. buck. Whoa, this thing is dangerous. It killed somebody. It's like it killed somebody. My boat's too tiny to try to catch many fish. Can I have some gold to upgrade it or pay you back? I swear. Hey, sure. Mm -mm. Oh, oh! I didn't mean to say no. I meant to say yes. Oh, that was an accident. I'm sorry, Mr. Fisherman. Oh no! Oh no! I clicked the wrong button. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, Mr. Fisherman. I wanted to give you 100 gold. Hey, bud, care to flip a coin with me? Heads, I give you a bunch of gold. Tails, I take a bunch of your people. Hmm, that's a 50-50 chance. But this guy's like a devil. I think he's going to cheat, so no. Mm -mm. Yeah, hey, I'll get you next time, buddy. Oh, look, little grandma. Uh, I was considering opening up a soup shop. Think it's a good idea? I need some gold, sure. And can you bring the fisherman 100 gold for me? Whoa, 50 gold, Grandma. Gotta be the biggest fucking soup shop in the, dang, in the whole diggity damn world. Very well. I sell my soup in the town square. That's probably why she was christening so much money. That little castle in the background must be your soup shop. Mom says, I need to ask your permission to go on an adventure. Can I please, please, um... I feel like your mom's going to get mad at me, so I'm going to say no. Oh man, you're so boring. I just feel like your mom's going to get mad at me if I say yes. Like, you get murdered, your mom's going to be like, Oh, you killed my bad boy. Citizens say a monkey has been running around flinging stuff at them. Should we put a bounty on it? Uh, yeah, I don't want to get my citizens covered in poop. He spews the poop again. He called the shit poop. Working conditions for us are unsafe. Will you please spend some gold to improve our ability? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's only 40 gold. That's not bad. Thank you. The builders appreciate this. Nice. That was actually pretty cheap. I lost 120 gold, but I gained 10 population and 6 happiness. So, my people are more than happy. My lord, I have returned. I am ashamed to inform you that... I returned with nothing. Shall I show myself? Shall I show myself to the dungeons? No. You forgive me? Oh, kind and gracious lord. Bless you. I mean, what, do you just wander around the forest and take some gold or something? Oh, wizard. I was just passing through and thought you might like some magic. Anything could happen. Care to give it a try? I like magic. Hey, we got 100 gold, 20 people, and 5 happiness. Ooh, interesting. Seems like it went well for you. Very interesting. There's a bunch of goblins in the lower quarter. I'll slay them for a few gold coins if you want. Hmm, are they mean goblins or are they nice goblins? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Cost only 10 gold. I'll show those creeps. I mean, I don't know if they're mean goblins or nice goblins, but oh well. Builders wish to construct more houses in the town. They request gold with which they could construct build much faster. Sure. Mm -hmm. I shall bring this to them right away. Our city grows. I was just passing through and thought you might like some magic. Anything could happen. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Oh, you took my people and my happy? 
Oh man, you're a jerk. Jerk wizard. Gossip is spreading about a heroic purple witch slaying goblins in a lower quarter. She's become something of a folk hero. That's good. Gained people. We got net zero happiness and we lost wealth. Well then. Hey, we got 100 gold. So the city's population is growing steadily. Our records of civ citizenship indicate that 250 people now call the city home. So I got 100 gold for that. With a bigger city, we need to maintain even higher happiness in order to keep people satisfied. Make sure to pay attention to citizens and their issues to raise our happiness. Anyway, we still have lots of work to do. Let's make the city even bigger. By the way, remember earlier when I mentioned the Council of Crowns? I've heard a rumor that one of the members has been searching the land for a new ruler to join them. Perhaps they are aware of our progress. That's good. Oh, hey, what's this? I'm a blacksmith. And, um... I like to set up shop here. I can pay my own way. I just need your permission. What do you say? Sure. Mm -hmm. Blacksmith is good for the city. Uh, yes. I'll show you my incredible skill. You just you wait. Got it. I mean, you got some tattoos and you were carrying a knife. Mew. This cat seems slightly magical. Not sure what it wants though. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's better to tell me. Meow. Oh, it gained a happiness. I guess that was good. Our granary stock has been infected. It'll cost us to replace it, but if we don't, people could get sick. Should we do it? Yeah, of course. Yes, our people's health is worth the cost. Of course, there's only 70 gold. Does I have my gold only? If I start getting a bunch of doubles like that, I'll start skipping them. Hey, mm, it's a slime day. Got a present for me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're so nice. Oh, it's because I gave him a present. He gave me happiness. Nice. Winston seemed like a nice guy before. I think it's just here to pay a visit. Should we leave it be? Yes. Mm -hmm. Book. It left behind an egg. Oh, it left behind an egg filled with three gold. You've got a skeleton of your own. You know, don't you find it weird that you can't see it? Uh, no. Mm -mm. You don't think anything is weird, do you? Nope. I'm talking to a skeleton. I do not find anything weird when I'm having a casual conversation with a skeleton. The extra food we've been able to store in our granaries has attracted more settlers. Shall we let them in? Yes. Mm -hmm. I got one happy and five people. Very good. We'll have them sell in at once. I wish to construct a tavern, but I'll need some gold from you to make it happen. Sure. A considerable amount of gold here, like a couple hundred at least. What do you think? Uh, uh yes. Oh my god, there's 200 gold. The townsfolk will be happy to have a place to drink. There's a party going on at the tavern tonight. The citizens are dancing, singing, and dancing together into the night. Dang, I lost a lot of gold. Whew. I am out of all the gold. My lord, I've come across a chest of gold in my adventures. Will you please accept this gift? Yeah, of course I will. It is my pleasure to serve you. Thank you. That almost paid off my debt. Without any gold, we're a bit stuck. We could sell off some of our goods, but that might make the people sad. Should we do it? Um, no, let's keep the people happy. Well, we still need to resolve the issue of having no money. I agree. Hmm, what can we do to make the people happy? Without any gold, we're a bit stuck. We could serve some good. No. Mm -mm. Hmm, should we sell some of our construction supplies 
to get us out of debt. Sure. Mm -hmm. We lost 10 people. Dang. This will set us back a bit, but we need the money right now. I agree. So we, gained, we lost 10 people, but we gained 350 wealth. All right. Mom says I need to ask your permission to go on an adventure. So can I please, please? Fine, you can go on an adventure, little murder man. Yay, I'm so excited to go exploring. Oh, hey, the Sultan. How about this? Give me 200 gold and I'll provide you a large shipment of luxury goods. Well, I just got 200 gold. Sure. <laughs> Quite agreeable. We shall work together again, I hope. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh no! It took all your gold! I just paid 200. I'm back in the negative! Ugh! Ugh! Hmm. Mm. The treasure is empty, my lord. We could raise tax a bit further, but the people won't like it much, sure. Mm -hmm. Let us raise taxes a little bit. We only lost 4 people and 10 happy, and we got 200 gold. That's not that bad. Oh, it seems happy. The guards confiscated some gold that I uh, found. Can I have it back? Sneaky girl. Uh, no? Mm -mm. You're keeping it? Uh, but I still, I mean, I found it. Still not yours. Somebody else's. Mulder? Name's Mulder. If you want to know the truth, everything you're gonna want to hire me. About everything. You're gonna have to... Sure. Mm -hmm. There's only 10 girl. I'm gonna go investigate something. Team, give me the truth about everything. I've got a friend from which school looking to move into town. Could I get a couple gold to help her move in? Yeah, sure, why not? Mm -hmm. She should bring us great glory to the town. And she killed all those goblins for me, so it's kind of hard to say no. I've got a business proposition. You might be interested in your tiny little town. Are you interested? Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Seems your court is without much cake. I can provide cake. I am a cake chef. May I join you? Sure, Lewis. I love cake. Thank you. I'm grateful. I am cakeful. <laughs> I will make you cake. See you later. I actually need some folks up front. Can I pay you back with gold? Yeah. Thank you for understanding. Oh, I already ate them. So, geez. Want me to steal from the rich and give to uh, you? Not, not the, just not, not just the rich. I'll steal from whoever, basically. No. Mm -mm. Taking the high road, huh? I'll see you around. There's a party going on again. Woohoo! Party at the tavern. Alright, we've been playing for 14 days. Let's go maybe one more day. We got 300 people. I kind of want to build the thing in the background. It seems sad. Aww. <gasps> little Timmy. I'm Little Timmy. Nice to meet ya. You like ice cream? Mm -hmm. I do like ice cream, Little Timmy. Mom, me too. Whoa. LD 3.4. <laughs> Hello, I am zero number. LD 3.4. C -c -c can you f -f 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 fix me? Uh, yes. Oh man, he took a hundred of my gold, but I got five happy. T -t 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 Thank you, friend. I am become fixed. Okay. Day 15. Alright, I'm gonna go up to day 20, I think, and then we'll call it. And I know you've probably seen a couple cuts here and there because, you're like, when people are like, Oh, hey, I'll do all of this stuff, blah, 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 blah. No, you just, it was expensive last time. Hey, well, perhaps another day we can arrange something. Luxury goods are expensive, man. You took like 200 gold last time. I only got 175. 
So my family is have mentioned in into have moved into the new house we built. Should we send them a welcome basket? Yeah, sure. I want to go, but we got six new people and three happy. I'm sure they'll be delighted. They're a little Would you like to buy some flowers for my garden? A special low price for you, sir? Sure, I helped you do the garden. Why not? Flowers are so lovely. I'm ready to make my report. It seems that merchant guilds is being controlled by alien conspirators. How do I know this? Sometimes you just know, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you know. You're a knower. <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> okay, that's the weirdest person I've ever hired. Boots! Meow! Can I have some food? Yeah, you can have some food. Meow! Meow! Me and that Kit Kat just became best friends. Guys have been spreading about the rogue purpose. Oh, what is this strange place? I found myself in. Albert, do you know where we are? Oh, oh my. Hello, you guy, kingly person. There, I do believe I am a bit lost. Might I stay in this town for a while? Sure. How nice, Albert and I shall find an inn to stay at. I'm sure I'll see you again, Albert seems to like you. Is that an owl living in her head? That was weird. The people have started a petition to ban pineapples in the city. Should we do it? No! I like pineapples, even though they're flesh-eating plants. Sticking to pineapples, how to admiral. Oof, they do, like, no way and eat it flesh. Maybe I should have banned pineapples. Am I going to have to deal with the pineapple revolt? That might have been a bad choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello again, kingly person. Oh, Albert asked me to come here and tell you a story. A yellow bird meets a green bird in the sky. Do the yellow birds are higher than the green? Yes. Want to go? The yellow bird wheels through the sky. She shimmers so young. It's like, ho ho, how lovely. I open the sky, the yellow bird meets the blue bird. Does the yellow bird stop to sing with it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, the sweet musical notes of the two new friends fill the air. The singing attracts a flock of nearby birds out of all shapes and colors. The sky is filled with song. Oh ho! What a lovely ending to the story. Do you, do you think Albert liked it? Yes, Albert. I will have to come visit again. You again. Yes, sometime, kingly person. It's fun to tell you stories with you. Hey, our thing in the back's almost done. I'm uh, passing through with my magic. Mm -hmm. Sure. It paid off that time. Woohoo! Great fortune! Woohoo! Great fortune! That's why I made it the wizard channel, Jack. The Guild of Pineapple Traders offers you a gift, Saya. Will you accept? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. the, I see. I knew not banning pineapples was a good decision. They are very happy with your decision about the petition. Good, I didn't know there was a pineapple guild, but now that I do know, I'm glad that I agreed. Ooh, I wish to put on a show. May I have some fun to do so? Sure, I just got a bunch of money from pineapples. Oh, very good. And he seemed like a very, very trustworthy jester. You feeling spooky today? Yes. Heck yeah, let the bird flew. Wait, I lost a citizen because I said I was feeling spooky? Could I trouble you for a sandwich? Surely the cost of one sandwich is nothing to a great king like you! Yeah. How much does the sandwich cost? Like, ten bucks? Three gold? I can do that all day. Fantastic. I'm excited to eat this. <laughs> the justice show was loved by the court and put everybody in a happy mood! Yes! Two days left. 33 people. Jeez. Hey, the court. Hmm, you call this a castle? Yes, I do call it a castle. Indeed, it's a true question. 
Once you get like some of the repeats down, it makes things easier. Oh, uh, hello, Sonny. Can I borrow a coin for a newspaper? Sure. Even though I gave you a soup store, Granny, so you should be able to afford one gold for a newspaper. Jeez. Hey, there's Mr. Robot Friend. I am truly sorry about earlier. My circuits were uh, quite fried. I offer you my thanks for your help. Hey, give me back a hundred gold. Quite logical. Dang, I got some good gold. Well, good night, my lord. I shall embark upon a treacherous quest. Yes. For the kingdom, I shall return to you, lord. <laughs> Villagers are complaining about garbage in the streets. Shall we hire workers to clean it up? Yeah, of course. It only cost 50 gold, that wasn't too bad. My villagers noses <laughs> will thank you, surely. Uh, hey, a uh, good friend. Uh, I th thought you might be interested in making a deal. A good, wholesome, friendly deal. Yeah, an, an angel such as myself could offer you lots of happiness. It would cost you some gold, too. Think about it, a few hundred gold for you and now make your citizens happy. I don't I don't think that's a good trade because this seems like this seems like a trick. It says Georgie with a question mark at the end. Unless it's just an angel that happens to have the same deal, happens to have the same name as the devil person and they but with a question mark at the end. The question mark is silent. My name is Georgie with a silent question mark. Damn it, what's God gotta do to make a deal around here? You haven't been talking to Mulder, have you? Uh, yes? Mm -hmm. Here, take this. I was never here, okay? Oh, so he must be the aliens that are in charge of the trade thingy. Day 20 complete! Alright, let's do one final day. Just to put some tippy top ice cream on the cake. 150 golds. I've got news for you, sire! The city's population has reached 500! The townspeople are celebrating! There's to be a huge festival in your honor in the square! Our population's growth will determine man happiness will be shared approval, huh? Anyways, congratulations to keep hard working, okay? Yes. I wonder just how big the city will grow. Oh, look, there's two more things being built in the background. I like how the city builds in the background. Uh, might I have a cup of tea for you, sire? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Nice and hot, sire. I had to pay for it. At least it made people more happy. Looks like there's cannons sticking out of all those houses. I have returned from my quest. Jeez, 250 gold! A great bounty of treasure! It's ours, my lord! See, now this is why I did not execute him. I actually ate some folks in front. Can I just pay you back with gold? No. Mm -mm. Well, I, I still ate them, so... Well, that sucks. So that's what, I was wondering what happened if I said no, because I said yes last time. I'm back! I found this shiny yellow stone. Pretty cool, right? 60 gold. So cool. Hello, King. I am a tree of the Western Forest. As you can see, however, I have been, shall we say, shortened. This is due largely, in fact, to the actions of your team of woodcutters. My home has been chopped clean through. In your reckless pursuit of expansion, you have disrupted the lives of myself and three folk brothers and sisters. I determined consultation by the way of gold coins that shall repair the diplomatic rift between us. A battery sum of over a thousand gold coins would be a long way towards relaxing our troubled relationship. Thousand? Oh my gosh, well, I do have twelve eighty. Nine, I have a lot of money. Oh, you know what? I'll do it. <laughs> Since trees are people, apparently, I will do it. The first step of the path recovery has been taken with this. It does Well, this is not going to notice. Be sure that I am not finished. Not finished? 
I will be speaking with your mason immediately regarding matters of situation or land harvesting. You've done the right thing here today. My good tree folk will respect that despite your woodcutter's regression. With this, I bid you good day. May your roots grow deep and strong. Yarno, hello, hello, I'm M. Yarno of the Comfy Kingdom. You may not believe this, but I am the royal assistant to of Kingpin himself, indeed the very same. I've been noodling around the kingdom for of yours, and I oh wait, what's that over there? Button boy, good sir, did you happen to see a blue fellow come through here just now? Strange noodle limbs made of yarn. I did actually see him. I knew he was around here somewhere. I'm going to find Darn Yarno. He's been running around claiming to be King or assistant, which of course he is not. In fact, it is I, Button Boy, who represents the Comfy Kingdom in the esteemed Council of Crowns. Have you heard of the Council of Crowns, good sir? I have. You sh then surely you've thought about joining. Perhaps we could make out a bit of a deal. Yarno's been giving me nothing but trouble. If you could somehow put a stop to his shenanigans, I might be able to get you a meeting with Pia, the advisor of the Celestial Kingdom. If anyone would be able to induct you into the Kingdom of Gods, it would be her. What do you say? Will you help me catch my that darned yarn? Sure. Very good. I'll leave the details up to your discretion. Once the honor is out of the way, I'll see the meeting of Para. Thank you. Your assistance is grateful for this matter. Another chapter in the rebuilding of our people's bonds has been penned this day. I've spoken with your mason on the topic of suitable construction techniques. Though he was not at first wholly receptive to my ideologies in due time, I did convince him to see my way. I thank you for your cooperation, such as it has been in this matter. Hey, uh, a very talkative tree stump just came by. Give me an ear for. He was saying something about not cutting down so many trees, I think. What's the deal? Do I have to listen to that thing? Really, we're taking orders from trees now. Well, you're the boss. This will slow down our construction some, but I can't just say no to you, sir. Well, the only reason I won't do it is because I don't want my town to be attacked by ants. I have seen Pancake. Very good, then he's around here somewhere. Heaven got Cabbage Street. Shall we make some water more accessible? Yeah, water well, on fires. I will instruct the mason to proceed with the construction. All right. Whoa, we made it to day 25. I was going to stop at day 20, and then I went five days longer because I was kind of like absorbed into the city growing in the background. But I think this is what I'm going to call it. You know, we did a pretty good amount of gameplay. You guys saw probably a lot of cuts because a lot of stuff started repeating. But, you know, I played for a good amount of time, and, yeah, I, I don't know if I'll ever come back to this game. Probably not. It'll probably just be a one-offs added to it. A one-offs playlist, link to that down in the description. And you'll see something appear on the screen somewhere, uh, if it already hasn't by now. But, as always, thanks for watching. Remember to rate the videos, comment the videos, and subscribe so you never miss another episode of Chase Talks. Until next time, this is Chase, signing off! There's a party going on at the tavern tonight. The citizens are dancing, singing, and dancing together into the night.